start. We mentioned it going into the break. He's been called the greatest driver never to win a world championship. I know because I've called him that. But that takes nothing away from how phenomenal he is. Yet I know he would love to win this. Yet more than anything else, he's out here to thrill these fans. If he can get the world championship, so be it. He wants this place standing and rocking, and it already is. I'm just waiting for the oh, Chucky dance. Look at, this. Look at oh, that! Man. Unbelievable! The hang time. How long was he up there? You can see why George was sweating bullets when he saw Pocket come to the track. Charlie is delivering. Charlie, can he keep it up? He loves to perform, Scott, as you can see, and the fans all across the world know how much Charlie Pocket loves to perform. Well, if they don't, they're seeing it right here, no doubt about that, Mark, because he is having a... Oh, you got to be kidding me! And he rides it into a slap wheel. Unbelievable. How high was he? Incredible. That, that's up on the driver's lounge. That's all the other drivers. Mark McDonald, Jim Cole, Ryan Anderson. Look at how stoked they are. Hey, I got to say this. That was some huge elevation, Holmes. <laughs> wow, Charlie Pocket not only turning on 35,000 everybody watching on TV. All his, of his monster trucks. That's co-workers. right, the toughest audience. The other drivers are in amazement. Down to the final 10 seconds. I'm sorry, George, if he feels bonus time, we may be talking about another bridesmaid run for Bellhand. This is unbelievable. This regulation time alone, now going into the Magna Flow bonus, is amazing. The best we've seen all night, Scott. George Bellhead was phenomenal, but Charlie Pocket is showing you why. He is an all-time legend. You know, there are some who believe he should have won this event before. They'll argue with you that maybe the scoring wasn't where it should be on him, and we haven't seen the scores for this yet. Unbelievable. But if we don't have a new leader, we're going to have to get escorts for the judges to get them out of here. Look, she's always said, hey, are you guys ready to let the dogs out? So you know what she means about that. She is getting some big air all year long, and she loves freestyling in that Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Starts out with big air right there. Candace Jolly, her second appearance here at the NGK Spark Plugs Monster Jam World Freestyle Finals. This truck is so popular through two days of pit parties at the Double Down and then at today's big pit oh, party. Man. Oh, no, she has such a big following, but they didn't want to see. To me, a double backflip is going to happen someday when somebody does a 720-degree revolution in the air. But still, how can you argue with two consecutive right? back-to-back backflips? It was amazing. Yeah, and I don't need to remind you here, uh, buddy, we still got nine more trucks to go after Charlie Parkin <laughs> finishes this. And we're not even halfway through his normal regular time run here as he is can't walk in the dog all the way across. Let me tell you, oh baby, my. that takes guts to do that. All right, look, you and I watched Charlie Parkin. He has walked this track since it's been built more than any other driver, and they yeah. all study it. Charlie studies like, like a Harvard professor. Yeah. And I mean, that shows you he knew he wanted to do that move. He was going to ride it. Uh -oh, here uh -oh. it comes. Backflip. Oh, oh. To another of our first-time competitors here, Rod Schmidt brings out the Monster Mutt Rottweiler. Captain America is the leader, and the score to beat is a 30.5. Here's another guy that a lot of what I sense from the other drivers is that they love seeing a veteran like Rod Schmidt, who has earned a spot to be here, get that opportunity. Yeah, Scott, you know, Rod Schmidt's been in the business for a long time. I mean, 20 plus years. He and his brothers ran their own trucks back in the day. And when I first started Monster Jam, I was actually teamed up with Rod Schmidt when he was a, a grave digger driver. And that's the thing, a lot of people don't realize Rod is one of the best drivers in the business. He's fearless, he's got great truck control, and this Monster Mutt Rottweiler team is a great fit for him because it, it fits his personality great. It really does. Rod's done a great job. He did an awesome job on the digger team for our family for years, man. And now he's going out there making a name for himself in this Rottweiler truck. When you look for Rod, you'll see his son Carson. You know, he's one of the biggest. Oh, tough break for Rod there. You know, like I was saying, though, his son Carson, one of his biggest supporters.
a cold is a monster mud, so maybe you need to experience the ears flapping as well. Thank you, Leslie. Huge air sky oh, wheelie yeah. bouncing and what off the bounce. ramp. You know, her husband is here, her daughter's here, a lot of friends and family in the crowd this weekend, specifically today. I know she wants to put on a great performance for her family. Gets a pop off the back tires there. That's one thing to touch on what Leslie says as a driver. It's amazing. You use all your senses, including hearing. You do listen for things on the truck. You smell for brakes and stuff on the truck. So anything like that, like hearing the ears flop, does change the way you drive because you're thinking, what could be wrong with the truck? Step on, step off. Clears it perfectly, gets right back down. 30 seconds remain on the clock for Lindsey Reed. Oh, broke tie rod. She's only got 10 seconds left. She can finish this ride up as she now squares up to go up the ramp, 18 feet on that ramp. A testament to her, she finishes it up with a broken tongue. He's got three Stadium Series championships under his belt as well in his 15th World Finals appearance. Tries to go into a stop. He put a technical move in on this freestyle early. Now, Charlie competed on a very competitive freestyle series, Stadium Yellow. Had four freestyle wins on the year, an average score of 8.487, which is incredibly tough in that field when he had Ryan Anderson, Tyler Menega, Camden Murphy, and Barton Musauer. All right, you notice how Charlie coming off that ski jump kind of let off the throttle and then powered off the end. That's to keep the nose of that truck up. You have to power off a big ramp like that so that the truck does not nose over in the air. And Charlie's in a great spot here as he comes off the FMX ramp, that step up smooth on the landing. And he's going right to the backflip ramp. So a great combo choice there. Goes from the step up to the backflip and nails it. Did you see him roll in nice and smooth? Great transition, great control on that backflip. A lot of time left on the clock, a minute to go. And he's got another technical move, gets a nose wheelie across the pod. I mean, Charlie's really been throwing some technical moves down. It's a testament you can teach an old dog new tricks. You know, we, oh, oh my right, gosh! Right on that Ooh. circle spot, he's gonna save it! Yeah! All right, is there any damage? It doesn't look like I was worried about a four-link bar, but it looks like everything's okay. We We're got a back. Continue on. We got a backflip, we got a great save, we got some technical moves, what else? Oh, Are we yeah, gonna see old school, my man! Reverse from Charlie Pawkin now over cool. the blue pod. That is something that we would have seen back in the old days, back when my dad was driving and Dennis Move. Now goes over the bus, smooth on the landing again, back over that center pod, that center piece of dirt. He's in first gear, Scott. He either has, I think he might have some transmission issues. That thing is really singing. He's got to be careful. It's easy to get a transmission fire whenever you're such high RPMs. That transmission is getting mad hot. And time is... I love the way Chris started out his run using a weird angle on the side of that blue side pod. Oh, Chris Kohler putting down some horsepower, hitting that jammer. And Chris has set up very nicely here with Brandon Vincent's 5.785 and having to not get to the backflip ramp. So Chris has the chance to set up the first backflip of the night or the first save of the night, which is what won Lindsey Reed a World Finals Championship. Back in 2019, he goes way up on the back side of the step up, goes all the way across it. That was a pretty cool move there from Monster Blood. Yeah, it definitely put a smile on my face. Getting a little sideways off that jump, you gotta love it. Nice transfer onto the car stack on the red side pod. Two stadium freestyle wins in 2023. Huge go! For Chris Kohler, biggest hair of the night so far, onto a bicycle, and he's gonna make the save. Yeah! That is what it takes to win a championship this early in the order, and he goes sideways again with a whip, and he's going over again. Let's see another one. Chris Kohler, what you do it?
She line up, lines up to the Morgan Morgan backflip. Lands it for the people. And we're gonna left tire to competing. We'll see if she can continue. So far, so good. The clock is paused at six seconds. It goes for another one!